All right, working on the 84 Toyota project. You know, if you've seen my other videos, you know I've been working on this thing a while, place, replaced the motor in it, put a different motor in it. And uh, now we're gonna go through here and uh, I've got the gas tank off of it. We're gonna put a new, new one on it and I put new fuel lines. I'm having a hard time getting a pickup. The, uh, the pickup tube for it that goes down in it, mine's rested completely. It's completely stopped up. I haven't had a chance to get it uh, cleaned out. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm waiting on a couple of parts for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these brakes. They just lock up tight. They won't come loose. So I had to back the bleeder off and uh, open it up and then took a pry bar and pulled the brake pads apart. They're not that bad, but uh, but now what I'm gonna do is I've got to take this caliper off and get these cylinders out and and uh, put a rebuild kit in it because it's uh, I don't trust it the way it is. So I've took out these two caliper bolts. There's one down here that I took out, and then uh, what I'm gonna do is go on the other side, do the same thing, get it to this point. And then I'm going to take and use the brake pedal to push these pistons out. That way, not so much that I can't get them off the rotor, but that way when I get the caliper off, I can pull those cylinders out um, so I can clean their, the bores of them real good. So anyway, I'll uh, make another video once we get to the next step. All right, I got the brake calipers off and uh, I got to looking in. I actually called before I got them off just to see what all parts came with the rebuild kits. And of course, um, they talked me into new calipers just because it was like 20 extra dollars and you get the whole caliper. And uh, so with that route, you have to, there's like a $30 core on it. So you take your old calipers in. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do that. It comes with all the, or it came with the pins and then the, brake pads this is the brake pads that we're using here they only had two different types in there but anyway that's ones i got so just a quick look at this um, i'm obviously going to take the put the caliper on without the brake pads and stuff in it and then get the brake line hooked to it and uh, get fluid started in it then i'll put the brake pads in but i was just going to give you a quick look of what it, what these uh pins and springs look like um, in it, how they go in it, because it obviously it comes with this one, then it comes with your keeper pin for your um, for your two pins that go through your brake pad there. And uh, anyway, that's how they go in. So once we get it on, we'll take another look at it. So I'll show you how these come out, just kind of so you can see how they go in, if I can do this one-handed. but. Um, really not bad pull that out of that hole there and those will come right out of your big pin and the knees kind of pull that out there there it is so it's like that kind of pull them down there and then when you pull these main pins out they'll kind of come loose kind of wash it so it don't spring out and obviously that's how it looks laying down there and then you can slide that pin out We're gonna put a little grease on these. Most of your parts stores obviously will give you a little grease to put on the back of these where your pistons hit. And uh, we'll rub a little on them and a little on the pins going through. This hose I've got hooked on here is just my bleeder hose. It was a little bit small and I was having to form it to that. So we're gonna to try to do that other little trick that I seen on YouTube where they, um, instead of, cause I don't really have any help to help me bleed the brakes. And that's a lot of, I've used to, a blade or a block or something on the brake pedal i go down and crack the blader but 
I've seen them where they stick the line down in the bottle and keep it in fluid and then just pump the brakes until the fluid gets clear. So we're going to try that route. Let's kind of see how that goes. It's a better for a one man setup if you don't have any help. So I'll update you on that shortly. We're going to go ahead and get this um, caliper stuck on, uh, get the get the bolts and everything in it, and get fluid started in it. Then we'll put the brake pads on and on to the next. All right, so here's that little trick I was telling you I've seen on YouTube, and I'm sure some of you are like, oh yeah, this is old, but it's new to me anyway, because I am used to uh, just bleeding brakes um, with somebody helping, or, you know, I'll pump the brakes and set something on the pedal and come out here and crack the valve and then do it again, and it's just a long process. So anyway, I seen this, and um, I'm gonna give it a shot. You just, uh, hook that uh, hose to your bleeder there and then run it down this bottle to where you can see it down there towards the bottom where it stays in this fluid and uh, you're supposed to you know pump it to where it's it's always down that fluid so it's not uh, bringing air back up and pump it until obviously you can see that it's all fluid so I've got it hooked up and uh, you know the other side over there was I put a caliper on it too. I don't have the bleeder obviously up and on it, so I'm gonna um, pump the brakes here and, and see what uh, see if I can kind of get primed up. We'll do both sides, and then <clears throat> after we do both sides, then I'm gonna have to obviously bleed the whole system, and uh, I'll go back to the back and and start back there. So, all right, so here we go. Reach in here, put this pedal and try to film this if we do it here. Sure, you can see it's pushing air down in that bottle, <clears throat> bubbling up. All right, so now I see fluid coming out. You see it kind of trickling down there. All right, so. Looks to me like I'm pretty good. Well, we got some more bubbles coming there. And again, I'm not going to try to get it all out right now. I just want to make sure we got it kind of, we got fluid in there. So that's what we want. I'm going to go to the other side and kind of do it. All right, so I got the fluid in the front brakes, the new calipers I got put on. Um, done both sides. So now I'm going to go back through and start bleeding these brakes. So, um, obviously you want to make sure your canister's full and try to start with the, uh, furthest break from this, um, canister here, which <clears throat> on this one's just the back right. So I'm going to go back there. I've got it actually hooked up now. Let me get you where you can see it over here. See it there. Got it hooked up just about. That old bleeder right there is uh, almost seized up. It's about stripped it out. So, anyway, got it loose. So, I've got the hose on there and I've actually got it opened up. So, I'm going to go pump the brakes and fill that tube up with fluid you can see right there it's got some air bubbles and stuff in it so when it's when the tube's full and there's no air bubbles in it um we know that we've got the air out of this one and then we will jump to the next one and then we'll move to the front and go through them and see how it works all right so you can see here that the tube's full 
I put about three pumps in it. <clears throat> three brake pedal pumps. Kind of slow and there's not any air in it. Um, it is nasty looking brake fluid. But uh, so we may uh, try to pump some more of that out. I've got plenty of brake fluid. So I may pump some more of that old trash out of there and uh, <coughs> put some new in. Now, this bottle that I made, I made the holes so tight, I don't know if you can see it, but there's some, you can see it bubbling up there. You know, it needs to be able to push air out, so my hole's a little too tight, and it kind of gets tight, so when you pull the hose off, it's bad if it, it, it pushes the fluid back out the hose, so make sure you've got your hole uh, big enough, or you can loosen this cap, which is what I'm going to do. I'm not gonna pull it back apart right now and and uh, do all that. So anyway, you wanna be able to get air through there and that way it don't push back out your hose and make a mess. So I'm gonna take this off and go do the front here. All right, we're bleeding the last side here. This is the driver's side. Got the canister full. The <clears throat> hose is hooked up. Now I've already pumped it once and it was pretty good. As you can see there's one little air bubble right there. So I'm gonna kind of push it through to show you and I it's really just took the back ones I pushed some more of the bad fluid out so I, I pumped it a lot more and and kind of replaced it with good, good fluid but the the pasture side about three pumps and I was probably uh, too much anyway and just wasting fluid at that time but so right there to the pump another pump so you can tell we don't have any air in that system now so come on go back over there and tighten that bleeder back up it backed off too far really but all right we're good Make sure the bottles got a little, yeah, it's a little leak out, a little air. Don't make a mess. Pull that out. Make sure all that's drained out of that little tube. There we go. So there's my, well, you can see it's full of that old black fluid I got out of the back back there. But it's all got <clears throat> pretty new fluid. There's not. Not a lot of the old stuff left in there. Don't look like I've got any leaks. So, on my new fittings. So now, we'll just uh, check our brakes and see how they do.